The Eurohound is a specific mixed breed developed for speed and endurance and for competing in different dog sports, such as sledding and racing. There are top 10 interesting facts about the Eurohound. I would love to thank all these Instagram profiles for letting me use their photos in this video. If you will like the Eurohound and you would love to see more of it, definitely check them out. Links are in description. Number 1. Crossbreed the Eurohound is a mix between different pointer and husky dog breeds, most often between the Alaskan Husky and GSP, or German Shorthair Pointer. The Husky gives the dog extreme endurance, while the Pointer gives the dog a very big speed. The Eurohound is not bred for appearance, purity or showing, but solely for its utilization. Number 2. Racing and the utilization of Eurohound is racing, and they are absolutely best at it. If you would visit any Canicross Championship, it's guaranteed that many of the dogs in the starting field will be Eurohounds. And they are not only great at Canicross, you will see these dogs competing in dog scootering, bike joring, ski joring, relays or sledding. Number 3. Breeding in general, the first generation crosses, which are most often 50 50 between the Alaskan Husky and German Shorthair Pointer, have short coats and are better suited for sprint races. But because of the shorter coat, they are not that suitable for long winter races. That is why the first generation crosses are oftentimes further crossed with the Alaskan Husky to achieve slightly better endurance and thicker coat. Each breeding is different depending on the needs of the musher. And even though this is not a purebred dog, the breeders typically take excellent care of their dogs, regularly testing their health and keeping their pedigree. Number 4. Origin So when and where the Eurohound was first developed, it's not surprising that the first Eurohound crosses appear in Scandinavia, where sledding and other similar dog sports have a long tradition. According to a popular sled racer Agil Ellis, different pointer breeds were popular with Swedish sled dog racers for decades, and when Alaskan Huskies were imported to Sweden in 1980s, the crossbreeding began. Number 5. Companion when the Eurohound is not competing, they actually make good, lively, playful and affectionate companion dogs. They typically enjoy company of other dogs as well and typically have strong pack mentality. The Eurohound is known for its loyalty to its owner, overall friendliness, but also for being kind and mischievous. You will never be bored with this breed. The Eurohound is also a good playful partner for kids, but of course, you should never leave any dog breed with a very young child unsupervised. Some of Eurohounds have naturally stronger prey drive and chasing instinct, which is why small household pet might be problematic, but this can be vastly influenced by early socialization. Number 6. Appearance I mentioned earlier in the video that these dogs are not bred for appearance but for utilization, which is true, but it doesn't mean that they don't look good, quite the opposite. This is a big dog with athletic and muscular body. Of course, just like with all crossbreeds, the appearance can vary quite a bit. Typically, the first generation crosses look more like pointers, like hunting dogs, with shorter coat and half dropped ears. Once the percentage of pointer drops, the dogs start looking more like Alaskan Husky. Most often you will see these dogs in black coat with or without white patches, spots or ticking. Number 7. Blue Eyes The Eurohound can either have dark brown eyes, but thanks to the Alaskan Husky heritage, they can also have the popular blue eyes. These dogs can also show heterochromia, which means they will have each eye in different color, one in dark color and the second one in blue color. Number 8. Size the size, just like the appearance, can vary. The height is very often somewhere in between 50 to 65 centimeters, which is 19 to 25 inches, and weight is typically between 16 to 30 kilograms, which is 35 to 65 pounds. Females are typically slightly smaller than males. Number 6. Maintenance the grooming and maintenance of Eurohound is very simple. The coat should be left natural without any trimming or shaving. These dogs always shed some deal. The more husky-like they are, the more they shed. And if you want to minimize the shedding, regular brushing is recommended. This will also remove any dirt from the coat and keep it healthy and shiny. Just like with all dogs, you should regularly check the dog's ears, eyes, nails and teeth and clip them or clean them if needed. Number 10. Health 
The average lifespan of most pointers and Alaskan Huskies is between 12 to 15 years, which is the average lifespan of a Eurohound as well. Typically, they are very active even as older dogs, around age of 10. Of course, just like all dogs, even the Eurohound may suffer from some health issues. The major health concerns include hip and elbow dysplasia and different eye problems. Tell me in comments what do you like the most about the Eurohound and what is your experience with this dog breed. If you are new on this channel, consider subscribing, turn the notifications on and check the Rocadox links in description. Thank you for watching, see you in the next video.